This is my first time ever in Cologne, Germany, and today I'll be eating at some of the best restaurants here with well-known German YouTuber, chip specialist, and really good friend, Crispy Rob. I just woke up, so I'm a little shook right now. I can barely get the words out, but that's fine. Just have to be downstairs by 9.50. The plan is to go actually tour all of the best restaurants in Germany. Nice and the flesh. Nice to meet you as well. Yes, likewise. Bro. <laughs> so you're ready for a very full pack day of eating stuff and cooking? Yes, yes, absolutely. Obviously, this is crispy raw, man. <laughs> this is insane. So he's obviously like really like really in tune with food. My palate is really messed up because I did bodybuilding years ago, so I eat pretty much anything. I'll eat like peanut butter with rice. And then like, you know, chicken with those seasoning and da 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 da, -da. <laughs> But now like I eat everything, I eat I everything. I think today is gonna be a little bit more culinary. Yes, so, yes. So, not so dry. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So I'm super excited, super excited. So we're actually at this really small restaurant and stuff it's a breakfast spot it's what crispy rob's favorite place like favorite place and i've never been here before this is my first time in germany it specializes in breakfast sandwiches so yesterday i actually had a salmon sandwich and stuff and it was so good <laughs> salmon's like my favorite fish favorite fish here they have like you know different types of specials and whatnot so uh, this is actually kind of like the environment and whatnot and what it looks like and it looks super cool it's like a mom and pop shop which is really cool a pop-up shop walking down the street you it might be a little hard to spot but you have to kind of look to the side and look up and you're like oh <laughs> so i'm excited to see what we're going to be trying today because it's going to be a giant food tour oh my gosh look at this this is so good everything looks so fresh it's not like this in the states it's always like big cheese in the, it's, in the united it's states completely fresh. oh my god mm. <laughs> it's so <all> good. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. This melted tuna mm -hmm. is really so soft and juicy. I've never had a tuna milk this delicious in my life. It's so good. It's so good. Oh my god. This is the sandwich that I'm having right now. It looks so oh my god. And then we all we're, we're sharing the sandwich and stuff. It's a crispy chicken sandwich. We were just actually talking about some differences between America and Germany. Now, one of the things that um, I noticed here, people like to always talk about the German stare, so I've done a lot of reaction videos on like the German stare and stuff like that, and I actually didn't notice that here at all. Like, I, I mean, maybe it has to be a different part of Germany, but like, I noticed it maybe once on the train. There was a lady that was kind of like, hmm? But also, I feel like here, it was more people recognizing that I came here from YouTube and like, is that James? Oh my god. One thing we were talking about too, like with the stare, Germans will ask like, like why is the stare, why is the staring so bad? Well, in the city in Chicago, like where I grew up, um, people that almost think of it as kind of like scary a little bit, like, like threatening, because like if someone's gonna pickpocket you or rob you, they'll like stare at you for a long time. And then like when you look away, then they'll take like your stuff or like, you know, whatever. But here it's just people are curious. It's just really, really curious. One thing that everybody's asked me a lot has been like, do I feel way safer here than I do in America? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Like, there's like always an unrealistic fear in the back of my head. Yeah, but, you, yeah, like, I'm yeah, but for me, I feel safe here, but when I travel to Asia, there I feel even more safe here. Yes. Like, like really, really safe. It's the safest place I've ever yeah. been. It's like living in a safe New York, mm -hmm. right? Like you have the same buildings, same environment, very like uh, super modern technology but safe. In Korea, I'll walk an hour and a half through alleys, dark alleys and stuff, and it looks really sketchy, but there's nobody out, everybody minds their own business, and it's quiet, you know? I don't know, that's something I notice that's different. America, you can't walk through alleys, bro. <laughs> don't walk through alleys. Like, you can walk through an alley with, an, with a MacBook on your backpack, and nobody will bother you. Yeah, I know. But in America, they're like, hey man, uh, you got some money? <laughs> well, there's gonna be more things we see throughout uh, the city today, but I wanted to kind of highlight those, because like, it's interesting seeing it from this perspective. It's insane, insane. Also, this food's good. I'm gonna go get a, another bite. <laughs> the crispy chicken. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my God. It's so good. I think it's, it's a solid breakfast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very tender. It's super tender and, and like, like uh, savory, it's a very savory taste. I think there's like chicken on here. Like, well, there's like um, avocado. Avocado, yeah, yeah, yeah my bad. 
bon appétit. Mmm, ils sont bons. So the first meal was really good. We had uh, two sandwiches. It was a tuna melt and a crispy chicken sandwich for breakfast, and it was phenomenal. Very, very good. I mean, the breading on the chicken was super moist and stuff, and the chicken was also moist as well, very tender. The ingredients like the tomato, the, the lettuce, and stuff like that were fresh. It felt very fresh, the bread and everything. Um, the tuna melt, that's the best tuna melt I've had in my entire life. The cheese, dude, like, we, have gov we call it government cheese in America, but this is, Perfect, bro. Perfect, 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 perfect. But we're about to go into the next spot. So I'll see you soon. Ah. So I was just talking to Crispy Rob about how different it is here, paying for things, right? Like you get more for the money you spend in Germany than you do in the US, for, at least from my experience. Um, something as simple as like a, a hotel stay, right? Like, you know, they, they give you kind of the bare basics a lot in uh, the United States and stuff. But I was told uh, yesterday, and even like you explained, like, I think a lot of people uh, here, ex like they don't really spend a whole, whole lot of money. So when they do, they expect to get as much as possible out of it. And it makes it like easier. Cause um, we were talking about like prices of hotels and like in America, the most I've spent on a hotel for like one night was like a thousand dollars and it didn't feel like it was worth it. I felt like it kind of got ripped off a little bit, but here um, in, in Cologne, like the hotel prices, I haven't, I, hadn't, I didn't find anything that was even close to a thousand dollars a night. It's like the max was like maybe 500, $600. Yeah. And dude, they, they give you like, you know, the best room service. <laughs> they probably have a hologram in the room. Like <laughs> it's insane. So I thought that was something that like that could people ask me all the time what the culture shocks are here. And, um, that to me was huge, but it's a positive culture shock. Cause, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's something that you know, America can get a little bit better at, especially like whole capitalism stuff, right? Like you, you, you get some more, you'll get more customers, you know, like to pay for more stuff and whatnot. But um, yeah, like the, the place we just left, very good, very delicious. It has like portion sizes that are very similar to America's portion sizes. The ingredients though, super fresh, and that's not common. And I feel like it should be. <laughs> I think it depends also where. True. You know, you have also this super trendy, healthy hype, you mm -hmm, know, like mm -hmm. all the new stars of Hollywood are going to eat this bowl and this smoothie. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> but you are also like really into XXL. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> challenge in one hour, blah, blah, blah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so guys, I'm not sure if you remember, I'll play a clip really quick of uh, me trying like Crispy Rob's chips. Mm. Mm. I didn't saw it because really? I, I think I, I remember I the moment. I don't know. Um, I think you were live on Twitch. Yeah. And I was there mm -hmm. just watching. Yeah. And then someone said, "Hey, uh, Crispy Rob is watching you." And you're like, uh, "Oh, Crispy Rob, the guy with the chips." And I was like, "What? what? The fuck? <laughs> he knows me." And like, "Hey, cool. I, I watched some of your videos." Yeah. And, and so we got in contact. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a new product. It's uh, it calls Crunchy Puffs. Oh, it's nice. Like big, big puffs. They look like Cheetos a little bit. Mm. <laughs> It is inspired by America. Oh yeah! <laughs> so this is... Mm. The spiciness um, comes a little bit later. Mm. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so it does taste like uh, like a paprika, almost barbecued a little bit. It's sweet when you bite into it first, and it's fluffy just like the, the, the Cheeto Puffs, but the aftertaste, it's like a little bit of a spicy kick. Yeah, it's, it's the habanero it comes later. Mm -hmm. It's really good. The, and this is the honey and cheese. Oh, this is good. But but this is like, in, in Germany, you, do, you don't get honey and cheese in America. It's like yeah. very common. So mm -hmm. I'm, I was really inspired by some American products. And this is my interpretation of it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. And the sweetness comes later here. Mm-hmm. So it tastes like cheese at first, like it's like a cheesy, like a crunchy flavor first. And then there's like a honey accent on the end of it, if that makes sense. Um, it's really good. This is insane. It's like, like better Cheetos. <laughs> Thank you so much. Dude, the honey ones are, mm. like I, I, I never would have ever thought like cheese and honey together, like what? But it's really good though, <laughs> what the heck? Mm. I'm like mixing these flavors up together. So my palate's like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, oh. oh! I have a, a, a 
lot of them here. Mm -hmm. And this is a small gift that uh, you're in Germany. Yeah. I know you're going to feel it, but I'm really into collecting it. Mm -hmm. And I want to give you... Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Yes. Because I, Naruto is just love. Yes, it's top. I mean, I, uh, Akatsuki. I mean, <laughs> this is perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. We're in uh, Crispy Rob's like studio and stuff. And like, as you can see, there's a whole lot of memorabilia here. I have some Pokemon collections here. Oof. You know, this like everything I, 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 I've got more on, on, in the other room, but this like some, some small highlights. That These is... are the, the Germans first edition oh cards. Oh my you know. gosh. Got the Kura. Charizard, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Blast Toys and uh oh my gosh. Uh B Bulbasaur? Yeah. I love Super Nintendo. I have a lot of games and for sure. Absolutely. Like, this is so cool, man. Like, I wish I had this. Like, so I, I grew up playing Super Nintendo, yeah. and um, my very first game ever was Super Mario. Yeah, like, I, I played it so often. Yeah. <laughs> that was the very first game I ever beat, because I haven't beat very many games. But, <laughs> but, like, when I was a kid, I finally beat it. I think the final boss was, like, Bowser and that egg. Yeah. yeah that, like, yeah, he keeps yeah. throwing things out of the, the egg to hit you with and stuff. Next time you're here, we, we make a Super Nintendo night. Yes, yeah. yes, we have to. <laughs> sure, sure. This is more like the, the typical food background. If, if I have to tell anything, yeah. I'm going to sit here and yeah. blah, 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 this and this and this and this happened. <laughs> this is awesome. The YouTube plaque. Oh, man. I feel like um, after seeing this, I probably need to make more of a studio setup. Everybody tells me I need to make a studio like for where I record because this is not messy at all. You need to see where I film. You're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> People are going to set up a GoFundMe for the... <laughs> Like, help this poor, starving YouTuber out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And um, this is phenomenal. Phenomenal. You have to try these. You have to try these. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my friends on this. You ready for, for the tour? Yes. I think it's time for ramen. It is. It is. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> to the ramen shop. Oh, the ramen shop. Oh, yeah. dude, I forgot. I, I fuck. <laughs> We have yeah. some pretty good ramen in Cologne. This one is my favorite, but... It's so hard. There are three really good ones, but this one is like you get there also sushi. So Ooh. we we are gonna take this one because sushi is top. Yeah, man. it's oh, so good. Oh my god, this is incredible. It's like a it's a lemon mint tea, mm. right? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness, it tastes like Christmas, man. Uh, Christmas, man. By nothing, bro. <laughs> It's, it's, it's so good. It's like a, I mean, obviously it's lemon, but it, it's like a lemon candy cane. It's like, the, it's the best way to explain it. It tastes like lemon candy cane. Good recommendation. This is, oh my God. Like, oh, could never go wrong with this guy, man. Solid. <laughs> Jeez, bro, it looks so delicious. It is. <laughs> you ready? Yes. Mm. Fresh. It is really, really good quality. Very good quality. That's some high quality tuna. Mm. Like I feel like my body is being refreshed right now. It's insane. I love sashimi, and I heard that in Korea the sashimi is also really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's go for the ramen, Freunde. Ey, die sind so cremig. Die wirklich die Ramen bei Daikon sind einfach einfach cremig und das das macht sie so besonders und so lecker. Is this creamy in English? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Mm. I don't know what they do with this rum, but they're really creamy, and this is why mm. I love them so much. Mmm. Oh, I should eat this at all. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my god. It smells very, very, very good. Fantastic. This is very nice. Uh, it's uh, creamy and. Uh, um, a bit uh, yeah, spicy, of course. Yeah, yeah, sharp. Sharp, uh, a bit uh, sharp, but um, I like sharp uh, Essen. And this is very, very, very good. Um, I, I have not uh, a ramen. Uh, <laughs> it smells as good as I. Uh, as, as this ramen. <laughs> My Deutsch. <laughs> hey, what is good? What is good? What is very good? Yeah, I like my friends. Always a recommendation. So. We're at this place. It's called a uh, ca ca cafe. De Paris. Ca cafe de Paris. 
and it's um, it looks really nice. It's like an Instagram, very aesthetic spot. Yeah, it um, is. You know, a lot, you, people that eat here, you know, they want to be seen. You know, like this is like a very like very posh, very nice, like an exquisite location. So um, we're about to get some nice drinks and stuff, and eat some, some good food and whatnot. And I, I've enjoyed myself so much, man. Like the entire street looks it like is, upscale. Like <laughs> <laughs> the food is good here, mm -hmm. but the we, drinks. We, we, yeah, we make a small break, like only yeah. a small snack. Oh yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Getting ready for the dinner, maybe yes. one aperitivo. Yeah, and yeah, 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 that's perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what I, that's what I actually meant. It's mainly drinks here. <laughs> James. Yes. Now you're living uh, the high society lifestyle in Cologne. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> so I give the oyster experience everyone who never had that. Yes. So, now it's your turn. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've tried oysters. I've had uh, mussels before, the little tiny clam thingies, but I've never had this. So okay, this will be. But, but you have to put like a little bit of the lemon and oh. of the vinaigrette also. Oh wow! So do I squeeze it? Like yeah, squeeze yeah, the lemon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they got the little, uh, they got this. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my God. This looks beautiful. All right. And then like over here like this. Ooh, I gotta get some of this on, on here. Welcome to Cologne. Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At first the oyster. Oh yeah, the oyster. So do, I, do I just like tilt it? Just slurp it. Mm. Oh my God. It's so good. It is good. It's yes. very good. And the combination is incredible. Yeah, the vinaigrette with the small onions. Yes, it's so good. And it's clean. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like one of those like uh, those beach shells. <laughs> well, um, we're getting ready to move on to the next spot. It's been awesome here. Like finished up some good wine. Delicious, delicious, delicious. And oysters for the first time. That oh my gosh. Like I first of all, like I mean, I've seen pictures and you know videos of oysters and stuff, and I've been curious to try them. And I've always seen videos of people slurping them. I've never in my life had anything like that. Good. And the, the combination too of the lemon and the vinaigrette was solid. I loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, I guess there's gonna be uh, another trip I'm planning here very, uh, very soon. I'll give you guys more details on that in another video, but it's gonna be insane. Insane. <laughs> like I, I wasn't expecting half the things that happened here on this trip and it's been remarkable. But uh, uh, the next place we're gonna be going to will be authentic German food. Now you guys have seen me make videos in all of the German restaurants in America, right? Um, in Florida that I've been to, people, you, people were sending me links to different spots that they found and we got to try them out and they tasted good. But a lot of you guys were saying you have to go to Germany and try actual German food. So we're about to end the day with one of the best spots ever for German food here in Germany. So um, I'm very hyped. This is what I, it's all been building up to, man, because I've, uh, I've I've had like my experiences in the past, but this is gonna really decide if like what I've tasted back there was accurate or not. Well, we're making our way over there. We're almost there, we're 10 minutes away? Uh, no, two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes away. But it opens in 10. Oh, it opens we in 10. Yeah, kind of like walk around. This uh, this shot right here, like the, the alleyway is like insane. Like it's. It's beautiful. Every every part of this city is like a masterpiece, man. Like I feel like I'm walking through a painting right now. This like container. Yeah. So we're actually at a German restaurant, and um, this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, hold on. This is insane. <laughs> so I guess uh, all that. I gotta drink all of this. Oh my god. The, the gauntlet. Oh my god. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Oh yeah. This is good. This is good. I love oh my god. It. <laughs> it's, complete, it's really, really different to other beer. It's delicious. It's not like bitter like the other ones, it's, it's more bready. Yeah. It's very good, very, very good. Oh my gosh, and they only make it here, yeah. which is insane. And they don't sell these in bottles. I don't think I told you guys that earlier, but that's what he was telling me earlier. 
This place only makes their coach here, yeah. and they want you to experience it through the glasses and stuff, which is awesome, and not through a bottle. I mean, oh my God, look at my eyes tearing up. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> But it's that good. With um, uh, salt and pe pepper? Mm -hmm. Is that, is that nice? It's better than Yes, Emma. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so good. What are the top three culture shops in Germany for you? Okay, the first one is the fact that people can drink beer open on the street. That's crazy to me. And then the second one is kind of related to the first one where after they're done drinking the beers, they just set them on the side of the street, like next to garbage cans, but not in the can. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. like a it's a courtesy to people. Like it's it people care about other people. So homeless people um, and people who need money, they cool. take the bottles and they put it in the fund yeah, and get money back. It's a very respectful thing. It's a very respectful thing. And then, hmm, the last one, oh man, oh, the grocery stores, hands down. Okay, so what had me like, oh, oh, I guess there's a bonus one after this. So the grocery stores, uh, you can grab a drink from the grocery store, like from a, from a pack of, of, of a six pack. Yeah. You can grab one of them and you can go pay for the one and then leave the rest of it like like it is. That's weird to me. Like they don't, and if you do that in America, that's a no-go. We need to rest it, you know? It's crazy. And so the bonus one, right? Um, we were over at his house and we're talking, we're having a good time. And then his wife opens the top of the door and I thought it was enough. Well, he opens the door uh, right above his wife and I thought the door was about to fall and hit her, you know, but it was like, <laughs> like uh, I jumped back. The culture shocks that I thought I would have happened that didn't happen, right? The German stare, it didn't happen. I mean, it happened one time on the train, but I think it happened for a different reason. A lot of people were recognizing me here. So okay. uh, people were like, when we were on the train and I was talking with Fabi, um, people were peeking and they're like, huh. And then I saw, so they peeked first and then they peeked again with their phone. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so good. It is. That looks so delicious. <laughs> I've seen this in pictures. It is amazing. It, it smells is. 10 times <laughs> better in person. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> This is the best part, the crispy part. Yes, yes, oh yes. A little bit messy, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's so so good. you have to try the crispy part at first. Yes, 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 here we go. It's the ready? crispy part. Yes. So, oh my goodness. It smells so good. Mm. Oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. It is, it is. It tastes like a pork rind, you know? It's so good. I love it. I really don't eat it often, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really good. And for me, this is like really the most German thing you can eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my god, so good. It's crunchy. It tastes like a like a very buttery, salty chip. You know? Yeah. It's 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 perfect, man. Words can't even really describe how all. Oh, now you have to try it with the the, the, the meat. pure meat with the with the sauce. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, oh I feel like this piece is gonna fall off. Alright. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is so good. Oh. I think it's even better after some years now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Guten Appetit. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. This is phenomenal. I didn't expect it to taste like that. <laughs> oh my god. It's really, really. 
So we uh, just finished eating um, some authentic German food. And man, bro, from what I've had in the States compared to what I just had there, man, like entirely different, entirely different. Bro, you know what's crazy? Like I thought I can eat a lot. Really? But I think I'm a noob. Oh, really? <laughs> and really, I'm at end level. And you're like, Easy going, you could eat another Huxley. Oh, bro, easily, easily, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be too late, I'm like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> it was so good, so good, man. Like, I had like a, uh, I had a good time. The food was phenomenal. I still have a lot of space for more food and stuff, obviously, but um, that was delicious. Delicious. I need a break of a minimum <laughs> two and a half hours. <laughs> because we, we, I thought it's going to be like easy, but we, we are going from one place to another place. Yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so it was actually pretty nuts. Let's make a quick walk. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh, shit. That's how we call it in Germany. Ein Verdammtspaziergang? Yes. Oh, shit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This it was a really good experience. Very good experience and stuff. And I can't wait to see what we're going to get into next. I'll see you guys soon, man. I have so much to tell you guys. It'll be insane. Insane. Ha, 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 ha.